Okay, listen up. No more filter this time. That was just you, me, and the truth. You overcame everything the desert threw your way, but the truth is that race was just a qualifier, a way to find a driver I could trust for the real competition. See, I belong to a club of sorts, a group of eight former street racers who each scouted and tested a champion for today's big event. Now the drivers you're about to face are the other winners, and they're not like the clowns you eliminated before. These drivers are the creme de la creme. Forget your streetcar. We're racing hypercars today. Right up the snowy peaks of the Rocky Mountains. We're a team now, so I'll tell you all I can about obstacles and road conditions. But it's up to you to bring this baby home. We're about to land in San Francisco. Whatever awaits, just remain focused. Follow the signs. And remember, we have everything to win here. Hello everyone, and what is going on? Hyperion Blue GT here. On the last episode of Motorflix Season 7 in the first part from Into the Storm by Participate, five straight racing events all together will be facing up to have three signs, including the dust storm in race number three from Fight the Dust is becoming more heavier, faster, and intense. Mostly for the final round and final call will be take place on Fast Road to Las Vegas, Nevada. Will be received to have the first vehicle will be received to get the Mitsubishi 3000 BR4 No Rules Edition. Will be take place to be continued on episode 2. Will be going in to be at San Francisco at the start of Lunar New Year celebration to the edge of the Rockies by having five hypercar events. We'll get behind the wheel to see all kinds of strategy and different signs we'll be facing up to make our way into the mountain roads and the snowstorm because it'll be ready to go entered in blizzard rush. But also for today's live summon event in the crew 2, we'll be taking on to have a Ubisoft themed summon with Rabbit's Party of Legend. Ever since that you guys have ever been participate from Road Raving Rabbits from March 24th through the 31st of 2021 as you may ever been participate because these guys are about to be coming back and take over for this part of the Lunar New Year event in Year of the Rabbit. So better get ready you guys. All kinds of different parts with natural chemists for your favorite cars and disciplines all together by having 6 events and 3 skills will be all together. But that's not all because I got 5 million bucks will be all set and good to go. So let's find out and check it out to have the brand new motor pass as we're about to go enter for today's event. As always, if you're new to my YouTube channel, go click the subscribe button, then leave a like and comment at the session down below. Check out the links on the description if you want to see more. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos in the later future. Now it is time to get ready to go for today's live summit event. Let's begin. Alright folks, after I just made a decision, I go with 3 million bucks to purchase a premium content to start out on tier number 1 to get these 3 kinds of different items including the anodized edition of the Bugatti EB110 Supersport 1992. But this hypercar is fully modified to have all kinds of different styles and customization to see how this good early 90s sports car just actually to becoming much more fine delicate and fully well edition to be driving onto the open road. So this is going to be quite very good to be entered on Blizzard Rush by starting out in San Francisco. We'll go for having a hypercar tastic rush will have to be start up to be on Lunar New Year event. And that's not all because Futuristic Helmet will be listed on Epic along with Anodized Nitro as well. Looks so very cool and very amazing to see all kinds of different effects on the Nitrous is going to be so very awesome. Here's tier number 2, the tire onto the same title because this one is very much more rare vanity as possible to see. So very cool and so very amazing to see this kind of a tire is now outfitted to be as muchly to see how a glowing effect. And even the underglow to be listed for free when you stop at tier number 3. And here we have the Lunar Dragon Rooftop on Epic to be at tier number 4. Perfect celebration to go for Lunar New Year in Year of the Rabbit. More crew credits on tier 5. Here is the first part in Fast and Famous for the hypercar discipline to have popular 
Bucks and the Fame Magnet all together to have three affixes all together as one. Also to have a Lunar Print Smoke on Epic in tier number 7. Looks so very animation and go drive around to see the dragon is about to be spawned and appeared. So epic to see how that smoke turns out and spawning out with some dragons. On to tier 8, 50,000 bucks and then go for tier 9 is the Lunar Print Underglow. And here we have the Lunar Horn on tier number 10 to be listed as the same epic. So I know this is going to be quite very much more possible to have some different sounds to be appeared. So onward to be in tier 11 to get 2000 crew credits for free. More bucks on tier 12. Moving on to have a lab edition on the Dodge Charger SRTA 2012. Looks like this muscle car is all set and good to go for having a research and development to see how one vehicle may be quite very competitive to have all kinds of different vanities. But it is also to be as a class for having a street race discipline that contains 470 horsepower in a top speed 174 miles per hour. So this is going to get much more fine progress but do some more research about this car. But more vanities re related to this car to have a lab rooftop to be on the Epic. But what's this? An elegant suit? Well, looks like this is going to be quite giving a late New Year's Day celebration. I kind of say that this outfit might be quite very cool, stylish, and popular to be listed as Epic. Pretty neat. Moving on in Tier 14. Here we have two different colors of lab tires that the white is now being put up to be on the left side and the red is now being putting up onto the right side. Somehow, every kind of different unique vanity tires all together to have these different kinds of styles depends on which rarity go for the rare or epic. For this kind of a vanity is now listed to be on the rare. Looks so very cool and very exclusive to have the lap edition on the Dodge Charger SRT8 is going to be quite very good to do some more tests. More crew credits to be stopped at tier 15 and carry on to be at tier 16 we'll get a lap tint as well to be on the rare vanity to be on the window. But there's also to have a comment on lab undergrill. Stopping on tier number 17 is the lab underglow for a common vanity. Two sides to be on the white and red all together because this type of the underglow sure does might have a very interesting common effect. Looks so very cool and gonna be exclusive will be available for free when you're stopping at tier number 17. On to tier 18 to get some more bucks. Here we have the wow horn on tier number 19 to be listed as a rare. Wow, looks like that horn might need to give an extra sound because it takes a few minutes to get the hardware to be well respond. But there's also to have motor stars pack when you're on tier number 20 will be boosted up to be at tier number 21 to get more some we'll get more crew credits and then stop at tier number 22 is the color ribbon nitro to be on the rare. This kind of a nitro has three different kinds of colors, orange, tail, and cyan. Well, it is going to be quite very hard to tell because three different kinds of colors all together with this kind of a nitro is going to be quite very good to be on the rare. But there is also to have more bucks when you stop at tier number 23. Here we have tier number 24 is the color ribbon smoke. Let's turn this drip into a donut and have a good preview to see how this vanity will go for some color ribbon smoke. So very awesome and I can't wait to get this one until gonna have to go climb up by the main progress by every week. And here is tier number 25 you guys, the icebreaker edition of Celine S1 2020. Class to be as a street race discipline. 450 horsepower in a top speed 180 miles per hour fully customized station and fully well unique design to see how this s1 is becoming much more icebreaker edition just like the celine s7 from dominion frozen 
And there is also the half to number 26 is the underglow effect to be on the color ribbon. Listed to be as a bear, three types of colors, one for each side is now being quite very good to see how this underglow turns to have something else to becoming very more decorated creative ways. More crew credits on to tier number 27 for free that has 5,000 until moving on in tier 28. The Tempesta Tint. Wow, looks like this different kind of vanity is going to be quite very good to be ex exclusive to have a brand new creator's car. Speaking of which, but there is also to have one creators as part for this update by moving on in episode 2. More bucks on tier 29. And here is the first call horn on rare in tier number 30. More motor stars on tier number 31. Here we have the color ribbon tire listed as epic when you're at tier number 32. This tire is definitely might be quite very cool and very well unique to see all kinds of different customization to be well equipped will be exclusive to have all kinds of different land based vehicle. Gonna have to skip on tier 33, 34, and here we have second part of Fast and Famous for the Hypercar Discipline. Here we have the Tempesta Nitro on tier number 36 is now listed as a rare. But there is also to have a very good surprise vehicle. But take a good look at guys, the Creator's Tempesta 2022. Listed as a Hypercar Discipline that does not have a horsepower and top speed. Looks so very brand new and a combination of Ferrari and Ford all together to see this very good stylish beauty is going to be quite very good to be exclusive when you're going to have to go up and climb to be at tier number 37 to get this car for free. But I can't wait to get this car because this is very much more unique and it's Italian manufacturer vehicle by the way folks so amazing and stylish more crew credits on tier 38 and here we have the tempesta underglow on the rare in tier number 39 this kind of vanity will be very more exclusive to have the tempesta car as well as you may ever gonna have to be reached up on to tier number 37 to get this car for free and more vanity as well now on to tier 40 Fire truck siren horn looks like just gonna have to turn this horn on and be ready to hear the sound of a fire truck will be on the scene. Next up, it's gonna be having some more bucks in tier 41. Plasma nitro on tier number 42, folks. Wow, looks like this is gonna be on a rare vanity, of course. So very fully blue and going kick up to have the backfire will be included to see it. So awesome. Very amazing and R&D awesome. So more crew credits on tier 43, tier 44 to get more motor stars pack. And for having a free fantasy on tier number 45 is the Nebula Smoke. Let's bring up the smoke and bring out the cosmic. We'll have to be driving around and go through the Nebula. This is so very amazing to see how that smoke turns into a Nebula. It takes many years to have that smoke until this smoke has to take many years until it'll have to be well invented to have this nebula is gonna be quite turns out to be very alive. So more bugs on tier 46. And there is also to have an extra on tier number 47 to get seven legendary bundle on street race discipline that has present snow. Is it Christmas? Well, Maybe we just already have Christmas from 2022, but it was a lot of fun out there to have a late Christmas gift for all of us. On to tier 48, Nebula Underglow to be on the rare, but take a good look at this different effect. So beautiful, very amazing, and it'll have to be much more fine glowing during a night time. Only on land-based and water-based vehicle could be quite very good to be used on this type of the vanity. Almost there to be at tier 50, so stopping at tier number 49 is Woohoo Horn. Woohoo for that kind of a horn, you guys. Listed to be on the rare vanity to see how this horn might turn woohoo for sure. 
Last but not least, the last two items is the Tempesta Tire to be on the Epic Manatee. This looks very much more fine different and very exclusive to the creator's Tempa as well. But only to have street race, hypercars, or any kinds of land-based vehicles on different discipline is going to be quite very good to be eligible to be outfitted to this kind of an aero tire, including the ones will be exclusive as well to see it. Sweet, looks like this is going to be quite very good to be checked. And for the last vanity on the second part in tier 50 is the Delta Nitro. Listed as an epic vanity will be pulled out the Nitro to have the triangle effect is going to be spin around when doing a high speed moment to be on the straightaways. Looks so fine epic and having an orange color after being depleted for having a cooldown time until it had to be ready to use again. So that's all it's for it. So that's all to it for now, you guys. I guess that might be it for now because I should probably have to start out to do some progress for every week as part of the week one of the challenge to get some more followers. Now let's move on and proceed to have two cars will be part as a bundle event. So now we have two cars by the recommend will be available by 20% discount and 670319 bucks available. So let's have a good look and go for the preview. And there it is you guys, the 2020 Nissan GTR Nismo in the street race discipline by having 592 horsepower in the top speed 205 miles per hour. Just like the 2015 model to be in the same discipline, but this one might be quite giving a very good excellent updated version to the R35. Speaking of which, there's also to have a brand new updated version related to the R35 Nissan GTR to have a different look is now being placed to have the front bumper turns out to becoming very different according to the image. But looks like this is going to be quite very turns out and putting up to have some new changes to the R35 Nissan GTR along with the Nismo version as well. But there's also to have a new Porsche has now added to the lineup is the 1991 928S4 in the same discipline on the street race category. 316 horsepower with a top speed 164 miles per hour. But this one is a very good early 90s sports car is now ready to drive in to be part in the crew too. So this is going to be quite very amazing to have another Porsche will be added to the game. Alright. Two cars are now coming up, get yourself prepared, and let's participate to go for doing a Raving Rabbits Party of Legend as the Year of the Rabbit. On the last week from Untamed Italians and the Dirt Rerun, perfect on time to have one event to be on the follow-up catch-up will be updated to have rank 4,666 and 1,230,420 points to get all four rewards including the Lamborghini Huracan Performante all at once. But mostly because it also brings out to have the sad news moment for Google Stadia. I know how it is because it gives a best memories and best moments to be played in the Crew 2 will be well used to be on Google Stadia while PC, Xbox and PlayStation will be continuing on to move forward as we're about to be entered for having some brand new events and start of week number one for doing four part of the challenge to get some more followers. But now this is going to get much more fine excited party celebration in Year of the Rabbit to get 4 rewards including the Chilling Rabbit's Tire to be listed as an epic vanity. Looks to me because this rabbit is being holding on to it when being outfitted to have this kind of a vanity. So funny and so very good vanity is now putting up to have all kinds of different outfits to be well strapped up to be on the rope. So now, gonna have to be ready and take on for having 6 events and 3 skills all together by different discipline and mostly to have different appearances of these rabbits are about to be coming around to come back in the crew too. So first up, buoy smashing will go for any water based vehicle between power boat or jet spin will be at the get go by using any kinds of vehicles to be switched up to be automatically will be rolling in and gonna have to cruise around to be on the water. 
Gonna have to take some time and switch up automatically to use the Foucher 1414 Demon will be take place to be at Lake Mead. Gonna have to ride around. Gonna have to keep it up and sail on in. There's one player in the way. Hold it in and reach it carefully. Alright, not so bad after all, but there might be some jet sprint are in the way and pardon me. Okay, good call. Now I'm gonna have to pile it up and piled in. 30,000 points now added with 277 points has complete to be in the first attempt. So let's have a good look. One skill down, 155,100 points. That should be a good job for doing the one piece of cake to be sailed around in Lake Mead. Next up, Escape will be at the Big Sur to be located in the west coast of California to choose any kinds of different separate routes. We know the drill you guys, better make sure to choose hybrid cars or Alpha Grand Prix Discipline and also to have Drag Race Discipline that might be quite very eligibility to face up and go for the handling situation. Gonna have to take a standby moment on my Corvette C7CR1 convertible. Go to Discipline. I'm about to start off to have the Alpha Grand Prix. Choosing the KTM Expo R Alpha Grand Prix Edition with UTRS and Sportec to have a different vanity outfitted on the tires. So I hope I could probably have to take the main approach as I can ever to be going forward to be on the east side direction. Alright, let's go right direction to be on coastal range. Drive away and keep up the good increased distance by the yards. Very good job. Main objective complete. Gonna have to follow the line and keep a good suitable route on each direction. Okay, there's the transport truck. Slow in, fast out. Yeah, very good. Just gonna have to rush up and go up the hill to be on the mountain pass on this part of the session. Okay, good call. But I can't wait to get this kind of a rapid vanity tire. It's gonna be so very amazing. And it's Ubisoft related to it as well when you're playing in the crew too. But here it is you guys, 4868 yards has now complete to be on the first attempt to do skill number 2 to go faster and escape. 127,912 points. Very good job. Last but not least, Solomon will be at the track in the Giants race track. So this is going to have to take the perfect time to grab my Corvette C7 CR1 convertible as ever to be entered in escape earlier in Big Sur. Gonna have to take some time and go quick switch vehicle by fast favorite. Wait for the magic. And here I go, you guys. So long around the gates, driving a hybrid car, we'll be doing some more exercise whenever I can. Very good, excellent progress. Take the first turn. Going in forward to find the line. Alright, that should do the trick. Gonna have to keep it up and go. One more solemn to go. Finish line has now good to be cleared. 24,010 points. Not so bad after all. After all, because hypercars should be quite very good to be well used to do this part of the skill in the live summon. So 155,569 points is clear in the first attempt. Three skills check and complete. Now, let's go for having a one ever best hypercar will be featured from Blizzard Rush will be taking one shall remain. Let's have a good peek and there it is. I was right. Three signs are about to be start up to have fireworks, Golden Gate Bridge and a rabbit symbol to be on a third sign. Mostly because 
This part of the update in Episode 2 in Motorflix Season 7 will be celebrated Year of the Rabbit. But there's also the have Year of the Tiger from last year event by using the Nissan GTR Nismo. Maybe I could probably have to start out in Blizzard Rush event on the first event. Will be start out to be take place in San Francisco, California to be at the starting position. Just like St. Louis, Missouri from Into the Storm. But I hope I could probably have to grab a Lunar Year edition of the Jaguar CX-75 concept. Gonna have to choose the best recommend hypercar because it's gonna be the Chinese New Year. Alright, looks like this is gonna be quite good to go to be labeled as recommend for this part of the video segment folks. Grab your CX-75 and go and participate in One Shall Remain. I really hope this is going to be quite very amazing to see how the cold temperature is about to face up as we're about to start off to be on the normal condition. So here I go, let's do this and go for position number one in the lead. Alright, looks like this is going to be quite good to turn up the music, but it is actually to be contained with copyright content to be claimed. There goes the fireworks, gonna have to go faster, enter the Golden Gate Bridge. Those are the two signs, so we're gonna have to make sure to be on the lookout for any obstacles whenever we have to see the rapid symbol to be on the way. Very good job, checkpoint going clear to proceed on the highway. Well, didn't see that coming. I should probably might need to keep it up and go exercise caution to see some several Somlums like the USB Tour East Edition. Gonna have to stick together. Gonna have to keep driving and go through for this part of this event. So I know how you guys really think about this first event as you may ever start off to have a first leg to be entered when you're in episode 2 of Blizzard Rush. Looks to me because it is going to be quite very much more interesting to see how the theme condition turns out to becoming very more different. But there might be some block obstacles are in the way. Okay, there's one right now. Keep a good hold on the traction. Alright. Going on ramp by the opposite. Take the shortcut, just like one race, no rules. There we go. Oh boy. No matter how the hazards just barely went in the way. I should probably have to keep a good lookout. So now I'm in a halfway position in about Oh boy, looks like there's one gonna, one jump coming in. Close call. Stay on track and keep a good main speed. Sixty-five percent in the progression. So I hope I can probably have to move forward to be up the north. There's another jump coming in. Pass through and enter the road. Pass by to have a rapid symbol to be passed by. Splendid work. Chinese decoration on the street lights. So very impressive and very well decorated. So I really hope if the boys can actually to hear this by now because I'm still racing. But I'll have to keep an eye out during this part of the gameplay, whenever I hear him, that he's about to have something else to say. Keep up the good speed. Follow the signs. First event in One Shall Remain. Well, man. I almost forgot about the losing control of the traction. But I'll have to keep that in mind to stay on full maximum. And here it is. 
Looks like this is where event number two takes place before the blizzard is about to be coming in. One event down, five more to go. 100,000 points has now reached and complete by added with 9,940 points. So I hope I could probably have to brace myself before moving on to take the next live summon. It's about to go intense 0 degrees Fahrenheit on Blizzard. So one hypercard check and complete. Now let's go in Year of the Tiger event for having a Lunar New Year event by using the Nissan GTR Nismo 2020 model. But especially to have that where we got the 2015 model to be added into the collection as a street race discipline. For only one GTR version in the same R35 model, it's going to have to be titled to be as a Nismo model. It's now being made from 5 years ago in the year 2020. But it is because two different versions of R35 GTR comes in to have different look and different styles and same chassis to be all together. But this one should be quite put up to have an all-wheel drive to go maximum in 1019 horsepower in the top speed, 223 miles per hour to be at the per level in 280. So let's give it a go and race in Miami, Florida for having a Lunar New Year event from last time ever since from Year of the Tiger. But in 2023, the Year of the Rabbit is all about to have the most celebrated tradition to be well doing some fine animals to be going well represent. So let's drive up and do this most perfect effort out there to go overtake. The music turns on. So this effect turns out to becoming high realistic. So very beautiful, just like the old graphics. Gonna have to stay on track. Watch out for the columns. Aim for the shortcut. Let's bring out some fireworks. So, this is gonna be quite giving a modest heavy handling when driving the R35 2020 Nissan GTR Nismo was actually to be well compared to the 2015 model when you're playing in the Crew 2. But the same interior view looks to me because it is actually the same just like all the previous models on the same R35 ever since to be made in 2007 as the first one came out. But this one in 2020 Nissan just barely putting up with some additional changes and different features for this most fine all-wheel drive R35 car ever yet to be drived. Different style, same interior, and different features all together because this car is might be quite very good to be well drivable to be played in to have a different kind of a role of the street race discipline. But after all, because only two types of vanity what's left of it because this GTR does not yet to be included with some car customizations. But livery design are still available for this car, so you guys might gonna have to choose any kinds of different livery design when you're gonna have to use this car. Here comes the most main obstacle yet. Gonna have to stick together. It's gonna get much more crazy to proceed on to lap number two. Checkpoint glare. Go for the main turn. Hold the nitro. Moving on to be in the right turn session of the street. Same shortcut, different matters, and going again for doing a single jump by the double. Best wishes to have Lunar New Year in the live summon. We were always going to have to make our way and do our best to have a platinum rank whenever it takes to have the best effort when you're going to have to be mastered in 6 events and 3 skills will come in fortune. 
Almost there to be at 75% in the progression. Gonna have to keep going and face many shortcuts and do main advantages whenever it takes to have this nighttime condition to go celebrate it. Full speed up ahead, straight away, and tricky curves. Checkpoint clear. Now gonna have to go through different signs like racing in Blizzard Rush and into the storm. Okay, going back to do the shortcut again. Squeeze in. One jump. Checkpoint clear. Final stretch is almost there near at the end. Alright, there you go. First place in 4 minutes, 23.504 seconds is now good to be cleared. Let's see the outcome. Yes! 100,000, 4,958 points. Well, efficiently because over 100,000 points to be adding up to have around 4,000. So, second event is now cleared. Moving on to take another round in street racing in the gates of Chinatown in the Porsche 928 S4. Looks to me because another kind of a good classic Porsche from the 90s may be quite very good to be popular to see how this most different kind of a stylish road car to be well retrospective to see how it enable it goes. But maybe I have to putting up with some different changes with some vanities and a color scheme on the 928 S4 1991 to be well updated to be maximum in 280 per level with the Nitro Cam 2 horsepower in a top speed 243 miles per hour. But also to have a different kind of a livery will be said to be exclusive to have a taste of a spirit of dragon. Time to wrap it up and go and try out with this 928 S4 by Porsche is now setting up and go feature to be on a second vehicle restriction. But looks to me because the temperature on the inside is about to get a little bit hotter out there folks. So I had to beat the heat and I just really gonna have to wait until the cold temperatures will go down at any moment. You're gonna win this easy peasy lemon sweet. Let's enter the Dragon's Gate. Here I come and go apply overtake with four cars with some couple of rabbits are being hanging on to every car of the rooftop. Drive down the hill. Checkpoint go clear. So this sports car is actually becoming much more fine, elegant and classic to be well made from the early 90s. But this Porsche sure does to have a very good excellent classic vehicle to be well entered in the year 1991. But on the inside to this interior view, this different feature on the Porsche 928 is actually to have a very good classic retro technology ever since from the previous models including this one is now going to be quite very much more impressive and putting up with some different features when driving for this car. But not to mention because the headlights just actually to be turns out to becoming very different just like the Lamborghini Mira. So now coming in to take the first lap clear, moving on in lap number two. But this headlight turns out to becoming very surprising to be as a pop-up headlight. After all because this Porsche does have a very good headlight that compared to the Lamborghini Mira to have a different performance and different specification to have this chassis look so very different. Checkpoint going clear. Gonna have to master this Porsche. Go through and do some main advantage. Decorations are being well placed to have Lunar New Year in the west coast of California. Going in to take the left turn. Going up the hill. Now going steep towards the downhill. Alright, that should do it. 
Now let's go for the final stretch for having one Porsche for the win. That's the ticket. Now I have 30 more stars earned to be acquired and climb up to be in the main progress for having a number of tiers will be stopping in at any time. So there you go. 100,280 points for having a new record for doing one attempt folks. Another event has now cleared and successful before moving on to take freestyle in the next event. Time to go jet sprint in Hoodlum event in the Colorado rivers. I still got the Nitro Chemist is being well equipped on the Proto Rocket is now putting up to have the same specs and per level as well. Maybe I could probably have to go and face the obstacles and be on the lookout for any rocky terrains when riding on the waters is going to be a very tough situation. So I had to be ready and go for 3 seconds by beat the main objective will ride into the Rockies of Colorado River Banks. You totally got this. Yeah, it's about to get chill and go splashing around to go swibbity swift. Kick up the rudder. Now going through. Right turn up ahead. Gonna have to take the shortcut. Okay, there goes the contact by the rock. Stay in formation. Make a good acceleration on the rudder. There you go. Just like that. And keep a good self control when using the jet sprint, including the proto rocket, is actually to have the best main advantage. Somehow, because any kinds of jet sprint vehicles, whenever you like to pick, because it's all about doing a challenge, you will have to follow the objective to get yourself improved and go up to be updated in about around 100,000. So I'm still good at this because you're gonna have to ride around and go through to have many obstacles and the terrain will have to get there on time. Okay, magnificent work. Okay, gonna have to keep a good low profile procession. Stay on track. Now go for the final turn. Finish line, just mark up ahead. 1 minute 48.968 seconds is clear to have a first attempt. Let's have a good look. 125,627 points. Another legendary bundle earned, and that means it will have to take a good 25% chance to have a Nitro's Chemist Icon we'll have to see and find out soon enough. Two more events to go and we're about to go right with a monster truck we'll take on in Wide Wide West. I hope I could probably have to go and grab the Ford F-150 Raptor or the Proto Hub 1 ever since I've been riding around from the Baron Raid Live Summon from the few events ago. But anyway, because I should probably have to go and choose any kinds of monster truck whenever I like to pick. For my recommend, the Ford F-150 Raptor Monster Truck Edition is now ready to step in and go right around into the barren desert of the west coast as we're about to be ready to kick off and go off-road racing to have more opponents with some raving rabbits to have some different vanity onto the rooftop. So let's get it on and looks like the rabbits are about to be hanging on to themselves. So I have to go first and shake up to be on the downhill terrain. Watch out for the trees. Yeah, very good. Just beat the heat and go electrifying to be racing up on the rush. Climbing up in the fifth gear. Touchdown on the road. Watch out for any roaming animals are in the way.
Yeah, there goes the backflip. Go and proceed and go enter in the next area. Now, I really hope the de destination will have to take me something, but the blue line will give me a one way ticket to get over to the next checkpoint. So I hope this is going to be quite giving a good time to feel the heat. And speaking of the heat, cold temperatures should be quite giving in much more lookout. Expect further notice before entered on event number 2 by next week's event. Only in a live summon, but we have a 5 race marathon as we're about to be going proceed in Blizzard Rush after the first episode from Into the Storm. But we still got there, but it'll have to get much more fine progress whenever it takes to get there in further notice. There goes the mid-air jump. Gonna have to avoid a flip. Much anticipate to get there from California to Las Vegas. Arriving in Mojave Desert. Gonna have to use plenty amount of nitro. There goes another jump. Time for me to go front flipped. Yeah! Double times the front flip and made it on time for the finish line. Yeah, baby! First place and give a do donut victory win. 125,546 points in 2 minutes, 33.787 seconds. This is going to be quite going amazing for this part of the Ubisoft crossover theme summit, folks. The rabbits are about to go cheering and all kinds of different appearances with some different outfits. Well, looks like this is going to have to take one more event to go. Combo time for a street race discipline for the monster truck will go to Las Vegas in the strip north. But that's right. Drive into madness is going to get much more challenging. We'll be having monster truck. We'll do some obstacle damage. But, it, but in the meantime, because any kinds of best recommend monster truck vehicle when you're ever going to have to be participate in the combo event is going to get much more daring challenges. We'll have to face many obstacles and go improvement to be on the main time for every two laps as part for this today's event as a combo. We'll have to take on and go many tight turns and tricky corners to see how the elevation to go flat and some different jumps. So you might going to have to be Time for me to get back on the Ford F-150 Raptor and go again for doing a second time in this part of the monster truck event while the street racing is about to be a little bit much more temporary as a takeover. So here we go folks. Three seconds and go for the green light. Fingers are crossed. Here it comes. Looks like the monster truck rabbits are about to take over. See what I mean? The first part, just gonna have to stay straight and be proper stationary as we're about to go enter underneath the parking garage. All clear. Now coming around, let's see some demolition mayhem for the monster trucks. Checkpoint going clear. Alright, coming in onto the right turn. Going left. Proceed as well. Now let's go onto the next afternoon street. First lap always makes a piece of cake. Going up onto the main progression in 41%. That's more like it. Moving on to take lap number two. And here comes the Nitro Airborne. 
Straighting in. Right turn stationary to be well positioned. And then there it goes. Okay, there goes the direction sign. I still got this in the bag, you guys. Going shortcut, going through. Watch out for any pedestrians are in the way. Okay, that was close. So much for doing this most improvement to go through onto the tree. Still got this to keep up the maintain speed. Almost there in about 10% to go remaining folks. This race is about to be over soon and quickly as a pie. One more checkpoint to go. And there's the finish line. Gonna take it and go for first position in the win. Alright, very good. Looks like Rabbit Party of Legends has now complete for today's live summon. 124,082 points has now cleared. New record, no follow up catch up, equals 100% event complete by having a main progress to go up and update it towards the platinum rank. And feast your eyes on this, you guys. 3,417 plays in about two days left before the Lunar New Year event is about to be over. It was a lot of fun out there to have 6 events and 3 skills for this part of the Ubisoft Crossover Team Summit folks. So what do you think about Rabbit's Party of Legend in this part of the live summit? For me, one shout remain in Blizzard Rush in the second episode from Motorflix Season 7 is going to be the best place to start out by having 3 signs will be raced around from San Francisco, California to go up the north in Seattle, Washington as we're about to be face up and go participate in event number 2 we'll face the blizzard to have a cold temperature in about exactly around 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Also to have Year of the Tiger is now being featured once again like last time from last year but good thing the Nissan GTR Nismo R35 2020 is going to be a very good place to have one of the two restricted vehicles along with the Porsche 928 S4 in the gates of Chinatown in San Francisco. But also to have other kinds of different discipline on monster truck and jet sprint as freestyle because it is going to be quite good to see how Hoodlum event by using any jet sprint will be entered to beat the main time and set sail to be on the waters will have to face many obstacles especially for only two events in monster truck at wide wide west and the strip north. But of course because riding around to fill the wide open areas and racing in the urban cities of Las Vegas for only one street race event by taking over by monster trucks. But of course because all kinds of different vanities related to the rabbits from the other franchise. But of course because these little guys are about to be ready to dress up and go celebrate it for having a lunar new year in year of the rabbit. So coming up after Rabbit's Party of Legend, Wacky Snow Ride is about to be featured on January 25th through February 1st to get 4 rewards including a variation edition of the Proto Hub 1 Clumsy. Let's have a good look. All kinds of different discipline including Live Extreme Series, September Spectacular is now being featured as well. But exactly that we're in January of course because this part of the Live Extreme series will be take place to be earlier as we're about to be going forward to be in September 2023. But speaking of which because the Hub 1 Clumsy Edition is now being set to be featured to be as a force vehicle along with Drift, Street Race, Touring Car, Alpha Grand Prix and the next three skills on Speed Trap, Solemn and Aerobatics. After Wacky Snow Ride Another winter theme summon is about to be having a winter runner will be get these next 4 rewards including the sled rooftop to be listed as an epic vanity. 
Another Evolution 2 version of the Ford F-150 Raptor is now being part as a gold reward. And there is going to be having another rerun in Flying Germans, you guys. Ford rewards, including the Porsche Cayman GT4 Wops Edition, is now being set and featured to be on a platinum ring once again. Time to wrap this up, you guys. The celebration of Year of the Rapid has already here, and I'll have to make sure to be uploaded later on after the Year of the Rapid Chinese New Year has already arrived. But this is going to be quite very good to get this chilling Rapids tire before the event is over. So, Happy Chinese New Year, you guys. So I hope this is going to be quite giving a best wishes and best of luck to everyone to be celebrated Year of the Rapid. Thank you for enjoying watching the video and the crew too folks. I hope you enjoyed. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for a notification on upcoming content videos if you'd like to see. Don't forget to check it out on any social media platforms like Deeper Than Art, Twitter, Instagram, GT Planet, and more for see for my own image artwork like UDRS Libri, Total Drama Fan Art Ricard Libraries, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on the live summit event in the crew 2 and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.